Hello world, greatgeezapyramid.com, just to add water. Today we're going to do some pyramid phrenology. And what we have here is a graph done up in the 1800s by a really cool guy. But you can get to the uh, picture at surface.greatgeezapyramid.com. Uh, I have links to it at greatgeezapyramid.com as well, but that's a quick and easy way to get there. So you can put eyes on it as I'm showing it to you. This represents the each of these uh, vertical lines represents the height, the deviation of this way is the height of each one of the rows. It's the height. And the deviation from here to there represents how deep of a step it is. So what we can see evidently right away, this is the 35th row. This is the magical 35th row. It is both the widest, so it is the tallest of the steps, and it is the deepest of the steps. I guess that would be the best word, this is how deep the step is. So that is your number one or largest of the resistance factors that keeps the static electricity, which is gathering on the surface of the pyramid, here. If it gets enough energy to jump off of there, or over that, that hurdle, or past that hurdle, then it would have enough energy to work its way through the queen's chamber, because what is done here is the static electricity is bundled up, given this is a hurdle, and you're offering it a path of lesser resistance to get to ground. And that path of lesser resistance, the queen's, sorry, king's chamber shafts, northern and southern, one of them touches and one of them pierces the skin of the pyramid approximately there. Now, I'm not sure if it's slightly below, on, or above this row, but it's in that vicinity, and, and you can tell that when you squish this down and compare it to them. I'm going to get the exact row. I haven't found anything that actually says blank row. You know, it's those things that no one really cares about. It tells you what, what constellation it points at, but not actually where it touches the surface. The, uh, the surface because out of sight, out of mind. Anyway, you got the, your pyramid hanging out here. The 35th row, the one with the largest of the hurdles, is at the same level as the queen's chamber. And what this is doing is the static electricity is quarantined to the stop, top of the pyramid. And while it's sitting there constantly building up energy, and it, because it's static electricity, wants to get to ground, you offer a slightly lesser resistance option oops, down there to get down to ground. So it can't work its way down the outside, so it falls through the system on the inside. Thank you. Oh, uh, Facebook uh, Plus, a bunch of other places, please. If you're following me, follow me so that other people can follow me. I'm just trying to share the word. Thank you.